Hi everyone, new day, new stream, and uh, a new Arena Kings uh, tournament. It's going to be interesting. This time, I, I know I say this every single time, but this time I'm going to play so fast. I, I'm not going to care about playing any good moves. I'm just going to go fast, 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 and see where that takes me. Uh, hello to Sentinel Returns. Uh, Vertwich is in the house as well as Ihik and Thomas. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of uh, warm-up games, some uh, some one-minute games to get started. Okay, very aggressive play from Deeper Thinking. Okay, I just I I was so tempted getting that bishop h5 checkmate. I felt like I just had to give that a go and see what happens. Mm, let's try to do the queen coming to give checkmate. Part 1 successful. Just one part remaining. Part two successful. Queen F7 checkmate. Hey killer, says Chess Bay. Thank you. Well, that's that's the goal today. Kill people. Uh, also, Frank and you are Komodo is in the house. Uh, Vertwich asks, what did you learn by solving those tactics yesterday? Um, I'm not sure I learned anything, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep my mind sharp. So I think that's, uh, that's a pretty good, good thing, right? I did kill some people in Fortnite yesterday. That was that was pretty good. I got four kills in a duo with Alec. And for my level, that's that's pretty sweet. Not R2D2 says good luck today. Uh, bursting LFC says go and get them, Tiger. Thank you. Hulvestone starts the day with 750 bits. Uh, wow. That is a huge start to the day. Thank you very much. Who is Alec? Asks uh, you are Komodo. I'm going to link to Alec's uh, Twitch. He's a uh, uh, streamer who does this shooting game Fortnite uh, and he does it pretty well I would say I'm waiting for someone for for uh, a bullet seek but it seems like I'm not getting any any action for my bullet search so I guess we're gonna take a rematch against deeper thinking. Uh, what place are you right now in the standings? asks R2D2. Uh, I'll take a look at that uh, after the game. Uh, free bishop. Preventing queen h3. That was my idea to stop you from getting the queen and the rook in an attacking position down the H file. Successfully prevented that. And now I'm going to do this checkmate. Yes! Called it! Checkmate on B2. Um, Styly and Too Weak Too Slow also in the house. 
Uh, we're going to take a look at the current uh, Arena King standings. Um, Mayer in first place. Uh, he played the Dortmund tournament today. So all logic would suggest that he doesn't give himself time to play Arena Kings while competing against the very best chess players in the world. However, he did play on Monday, so you never you never really do know. Uh, ahead of me is uh, Lenderman, Blitzstream, and Last Samurai, uh, and Krikor is just just behind me. So uh, I'm gonna try to get ahead of Samurai, and at the very least, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna keep my spot ahead of Krikor. I think Mayer would play today, it says not RTD2. Um, yeah, actually, I, I think he's going to play as well. But, I mean, he's playing in a super tournament in Germany. Uh, he made a draw today against Kovalev, uh, which is a uh, pretty normal result. Kovalev actually beat Anish Giri with the black pieces yesterday. Uh, so that is a pretty strong uh, player from Belarus. He's a machine. He doesn't need to rest, says <laughs> not R2D2. Uh, yeah, possibly. Okay, we're going to do... Oh, that I didn't realize this was a Blitz game. I guess... For once in my life, I'm going to warm up with a Blitz game. And we're going to keep in mind that I'm going to play really, really quickly. Maybe that's my mistake. I don't do Blitz games before a Blitz tournament. And that messes things up. Okay, so far so good. I'm playing quickly. So far, so good. Maybe I should have gone bishop g4, but I don't care. So long as I'm playing quickly, that is the most important part. Uh, did not see that one coming. Uh, now I'm kind of nervous about this pawn. Oh, this is not great play. The problem is this happens every time I play quickly. I get dissatisfied with my own play and then bad things happen. Norwegian chess giant raids with a group of seven people. Thank you and welcome. Lenderman and Kisteniuk is in the house, says Chespay. Uh, let's go with this rook, trying to infiltrate. Yes, let's get this guy up here and win a pawn. No way to defend this pawn. If rook b1, then rook takes a3. That's a pawn. And look at the time. I'm playing so quickly. Maybe today is the day. I'm playing so quickly and I there were some mistakes, but overall it worked out pretty well. That's the kind of play I want to do in the Arena King. Crazy Coffee Man with the hammer. Hey, he says. Hi, how are you? Uh, time is running and I didn't notice it was my move. Uh, 
I have the bishop pair. My position is not great, but I do have the bishop pair. Sometimes that's enough. Uh, threatening my bishop. I guess I'm going to have to move. Ooh, I'm getting outplayed. Ooh, queen takes a7. Suddenly this became very dangerous. None of my pieces are that great, and I'm actually not massively ahead on time. And I just blundered my queen. Wow, I just lost my queen. Crisis mode. Okay, we're going to have to flag. Ooh, I lost more pieces. Okay, flag. But that was a very good game from Spruce Gum. Speed! That's the thing. Sometimes speed can rescue you. Even if you play bad moves, you get rescued by the time. And that is today's philosophy. I'm gonna play quickly today. Dirty flag, says Ibrahim. Yeah. Um, can you send it on Slack instead, uh, Chespe? Okay. Next up is uh, Eric or Eirik. Okay, I feel like I'm pointing the bullet slower than normal. Here we are. It's going to be fine. Fork twice in a row. Two forks in a row. That's bad news. And now the knight is coming, creating lots and lots of trouble. Ooh, and this knight is coming. Look at this. What a nightmare, pun intended. And checkmate. Yeah, I, I need to become a little bit quicker. But it's fine. Nightmare. Maybe someone maybe has that as an emote. Okay. Uh, 15 more minutes until the arena starts. New day, new possibilities. That's a free piece. Let's just take this one. Give a check, why not? Get the knight up to e3. Yes. Then uh, develop our pieces. Uh, that was not great. G4, yeah, that's a, Oh, I was going to say that's a good move, but I had a nice counter. Getting the queen on h6 through a discovered attack. Uh, what is your win rate against Meyer and uh, Lenderman? Uh, I don't think it's very good. I mean, I, I just, I feel like I'm getting decent positions and then I lose. So I, I remember the last time, I remember 
playing against a Lenderman, being a piece up for nothing, and then losing on time. Well, losing because of time. I blundered the piece back in time trouble and I lost. So, if I just play quickly, that is the hypothesis. If I just play quickly. Um, the problem is when I play quickly, I play bad chess. When I pl play slowly, I play okay chess, but get flagged. And both scenarios involve me losing. So that's that's the real problem. If you had played Mayer instead of Dominguez, do you think you would have won the speed chess qualifier? Um, I don't know. It still would have been a very, very tough match. But... I don't know. I did okay against Dominguez. I don't see why I wouldn't do okay against Mayer. Okay, once again, my seek for a one minute game is massively unsuccessful. Am I being too strict about the ratings I would like to play against? Let's see, how do I fix that? Here, okay, let's increase to 400. Here we got a guy. Faroese, feed a master. And he's already in trouble. The central structure is being ripped to shreds. Maybe I'm afraid of something capturing on d5. Okay, I'm going to make this a little threat. Um, okay. I'm down on time, which I don't understand. I thought I played pretty quickly, but I'm down on time. And this seems to be, I seem to have massively overestimated my speed. Because on Monday in the, uh, in the, in the bullet arena, I was consistently down on time. And I don't understand how that happens. Okay, finally I understood what I need to do. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, my bishop! My bishop is getting trapped! Wow! The guy just trapping my bishop like a king. Ooh, and I forgot to move my bishop. Oh, he, he doesn't even, he's, wow, he was just way ahead of me on time. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to be fast this time. No second guessing moves. Wow, he just beat me on time. No problem. Okay, this time I played faster than him. Ooh, he's going down. Okay, that was not great.
We're not going to have people flagging me on stream. Uh, okay, that was brilliant, but I didn't realize it was brilliant when I did it. 20 seconds ahead on time. Crushed. Booyah, that guy just annihilated by the hammer. That's what you get for flagging me. I strike back with vengeance. Uh, I just blundered my knight. Okay, bishop f6 would have won a piece. Hmm, what to do? Suddenly the guy is so fond of taking his time. I don't know what happened to him. But his speed massively decreased. Um, are we going to do this? Yeah, I think so. It's not a good exchange because I'm, I'm actually going to lose that pawn. But I think I'm going to flag him with the queens off the board. It's going to be easier for me to flag him. Actually, I went into an endgame that's just plain poor for me. Just, just poor. But I'm gonna flag him. That's what happens when you get the queens off the board. It's easier to flag. Okay, six more minutes. Six, six more minutes. I got disconnected, disconnected from the chat for a little bit. There may have been something I missed. Good luck in the Arena Kings, says Halvar. Uh, congratulations with the Kongapukalen, says Oslo. Thank you. Can we see the trophy? Yes, of course. Of course you may see the trophy. Um, I'm just gonna, you know... There's some finger fingerprints on it. This is the... the Kongepokalen, the King's Trophy, awarded to uh, the Norwegian champion in uh, various uh, sp uh, competitive uh, sports, one of which is chess, but also athletics, fencing, um, soccer, stuff like that. Polish it every day, says Frank. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try maybe. Um, well, no, I'm I'm just playing out lying right now. I'm I'm not gonna polish it every day, but it looks good right now. We're gonna go enter the Arena Kings tournament. Mayor is in the house. We're gonna look at the um, list of participants. Uh, one of which is not me, but now it is. Uh, Mayor Lenderman. Uh, Krikor, Hammer, and Hammer has a lot lost 
a lot of blitz rating. I think I was above 2700 at some point. Uh, we have Kustenjuk, the chess queen. Damanjovic from Serbia. We have uh, Stewie Griffin from Spain. Paul from St. Petersburg. And we have uh, Chessically Inclined and Yevgeny Shaparov. Um, is Mayer pronounced Mayer? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. But it's pretty close. Mayer. Georg Mayer is what I would say. Uh, is Georg pronounced George? Um, sometimes. I know that Georg likes to tell English-speaking people to call him George, and <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm a rebel in that sense. Ooh, we have a new participant, Cool VCG nineteen ninety five, a young Russian player joining the field. Uh, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong, but it's doable. I think some quick play in this field could work out. I noticed that Blitzstream is not here, and in the uh, in the arena standings, uh, Blitzstream is about a hundred points ahead of me. So if I could get the win today and try to uh, gain some ground on that third place, that would be uh, that would be pretty pretty good. Ah, uh, Blitzstream is in, says uh, Chess Bay. Never mind then. Well, he's not here. But I guess he's coming. The tournament starts in 1 minute, 1 minute and 30 seconds. And the first game I'm going to play against uh, Krikor, which is a big, big game. Not just for the uh, this tournament, but for the overall standings where Krikor and I seem to have a bit of a rivalry going on for the fourth place overall finish. Okay. I'm gonna switch to the board because I do have a tendency of forgetting that and making you all watch uh, standings while I'm playing chess. We're starting in 30 seconds. Ooh, interesting. A late arrival. 2650 Green Tea Boba from the US. I have no idea who that is. But some new arrivals to the scene. Uh, and my strategy today is just play quickly all the time and try not to care about the fact that you're playing bad, bad moves. So we're going to see how that happens. And first up, Krikor. I'm going to do a uh, Karo Khan against him. I have been studying this line with uh, the pawn structure. The strange, strange pawn structure. And let's play quickly. Yes. I got him thinking. 10 seconds up on the clock. That's uh, something. So far, so good, I'm going to say. way up on time. I'm trying to remember what I uh, looked at with my opening analysis. Not really remembering 
what it was, but I'm planning to give checkmate on h2. And I feel like that's going to be a decent start to any plan. Ooh, he's really taking his time. Queen C1 after a lot of thinking. Uh, should I be thinking? No, my strategy is not to think. Let's just play this knight up here. Ooh, he takes that knight. That is very surprising to me. This pawn structure is crazy. I have never seen anything like it. Okay, we're gonna double the rooks. Uh, maybe I misplayed that a little bit. Maybe I should have played b5 or something. Okay, he goes. I'm going to give this check. Go into the end game. Not sure how I'm gonna bring my bishop into some kind of attacking position. I'm a bit scared of this pawn. Let's just go here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty scared of this pawn. Uh, okay, I blocked the pawn. And I got, he really should have played. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Okay, this should be fine. Playing quickly, it's such a good strategy, and it's going to give me a win in this game. Such a good strategy. Black win against Krikor in the first game. And it's a great start. Congratulations on the national championship, says Calculated Potato. Thank you. We're going to take a quick look at the standings. And Hammer is in the lead. And Hammer gets to play Holvar, a regular in the chat. I think this is the first time I play Holvar in the Arena Blitz. This is actually a pretty good chance for me to get off with two uh, star uh, good um, wins at the beginning. And I think the fact that I got Halvar instead of some of the better players is that because is because I played so quickly that the other players weren't finished with their games. So my my playing quickly strategy is paying off in more ways than one. Okay, I'm a pawn up, and I actually think I'm gonna try to keep this pawn. I'm going to try to uh, go here, and it's got actually going to be pretty frustrating for him trying to win back that pawn. Uh, h6 to prevent knight g5 in some variations.
Okay, I'm hoping that I surround this pawn and win it eventually. Just get all my pieces attacking this pawn on uh, on d6. That's the plan. Okay, and he's gonna try to use it as a decoy, annoying me. Uh, but I also have c3 in many variations. For instance, rook d2, I can go c3. Um, let's go... I'm not supposed to think. Okay, f6, that's a bit of a risky move because of bishop h3. But my plan is just getting over here and capturing stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, I feel like I misplayed this somehow. I'm two pawns up and this guy is in trouble. But there's still some, uh, some problems to solve. Okay, that helps me. Now I get a passed pawn, and also my bishop is the aggressor in this relationship. Let's give it a check. Um, I'm just going to take this one. I think this is going to be good. Okay, almost some trouble there, because he trapped my bishop on a6, but I got a tactic, giving myself a queen and then the fork, with the queen attacking both directions. Uh, many, many good options. I'm going to go with this one. And it's a win, two games in a row. Two games in a row, but my speed kind of dropped for that last uh, for that last one. So I'm gonna have to play even faster. Okay, we're going to try to go c5, permission granted by my opponent. So maybe this is going to be dangerous for him. I have the bishop pair and I also have pretty well advanced pawns in the center. I'm just going to keep pushing these guys if he allows me. So far, so good. And it's a win! Three wins in a row for Hammer! That was surprisingly easy, I gotta say. Three wins in a row. That's a huge start. Knight is trapped on ace four and the guy resigns. Three wins. Let's look at the standings. Hammer in first place. This playing quickly strategy really paying off today. And I'm getting pretty lucky with my pairings. A 2200 up next. Um. I feel like this is some kind of well-known theory that I should know, but I don't know it, so I'm just freestyling. But I'm playing quickly, so maybe my opponent thinks I'm not freestyling. Uh, that would be a, a good thing. 
because I am freestyling and I'm really not sure about this. Bishop e3, I'm planning this move, but then he can just take it. And it's not really clear that this is good for me. Uh, I'm not sure about this move. Uh, yeah, I, I think that move was a bit too much. Because now he could have gotten sort of the f rook here and the other rook on the c file. And by playing rook d1 first, he uh, gave away the option of. Um, of getting one on the D file and one on the C file. And I'm up one minute on the clock. The strategy is working brilliantly. Okay, he goes for the queen trade. And then knight D6, I assume. Trying to take... No, not knight D6. That comes as a bit of a surprise to me. I really thought he needed to play knight d6 to get rid of my bishops. Because now I'm just going to move this bishop. Ooh, but he has knight e4. Had he played the other knight, I would have lost a piece. Mm, yeah. And now I'm just much worse. Yeah, I seriously misplayed that. Yeah, I'm massively worse. I really thought I had a good position. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, my bishop is just all kinds of trapped. Big, big, big trouble. Oof. Uh, yeah, and being up on time is not going to help me because my position is so bad. That he's going to have time to checkmate me. <sighs> yeah, I guess this is the price of playing quickly. I was up a minute on the clock with a superior position. I'm really not sure how I lost that. But. Okay, I'm still fighting-ish. Okay, I'm gonna have to go after this guy. Give a check. And then this was my idea. Still some drawing chances. Ooh, he, he actually gave me a draw. This isn't even drawing chances. This is actually just a draw. And I'm going to play for a win. Why not? Okay, that was a blunder.
He could have taken my rook. He could have taken my rook four different times. He could have taken my rook four different times. Wow. That is just sick. He offered a draw and I declined. I, I know it's very bad form, but I really wanted that win. I really, really wanted that win. And I was going to flag him to make it happen. Dirty flagger, says Hiata Man. Yeah, I know, I know. People are doing it to me, so I, I don't actually feel that bad about it. Other people's flagging of me has gotten made me a bit more immune to such dirty, dirty plays. Okay, so far so good. Once again, I have a fantastic position against a Lenderman. But that has happened before without much success. So uh, let's not celebrate too soon. But I have such a good position. Completely outplaying the guy. And he gets the pre-move wrong, and then it's check on d8. I really deserve this one. I really think I did. I really think I deserved that one. He got me on time the last, uh, the previous game we played. And I'm very happy to, to get that win. I don't care if he mouse slipped. It's, it's a win, and it tastes delicious. Easy win, says Huba Booba. Okay, uh, Bishop B4 is officially weird. So far, so good. I'm in first place. I'm still pretty shocked about that. Shocked but happy. Okay, he wants a closed position, he's gonna get a closed position. Probably he'll have to go knight d8. Actually, I should have played d5 last move when he didn't have this option. Ooh, he's opening the C file. That's, um, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Ah, that was not a good move. Now he has e A5. I should have just gone bishop d2. That was my plan. Okay, but a5, bishop d2 is also okay. It's not as good as what I was intending, but still. Okay, let's go here. And then here. That queen is just asking to be trapped, in my opinion. Um, I stopped playing quickly. That's not good. Okay, so he just wants to exchange it. I guess that's fine. Then this one, maybe? Let's go here, and then here. Then here, slowly but surely forcing him back, and then I'm gonna go here. Ooh, now he has rook c2. Um, and now this one. Is 
This bishop on c8 is actually stuck. He's he's stuck. He doesn't have any moves. Rook c uh, c3 next move, and I mean he cannot move this thing he created, this monster he created. He just can't move it. Um, this is gonna win me a piece. And now this one is trapped even. It's a fantastic start. Fantastic start. One one piece and trapped the other one. And uh, still in first place with uh, 17 points. We're gonna check the standings. Ooh, Samurai is keeping the pace with five quick wins as well. Wow. Uh, and uh, Volk resigns after giving it some thought. Six wins in a row. It's a great start. Um, Raja is next up. We're gonna play a. Uh, what are we gonna play? We're gonna play this. Um, and then this. It would really help if I knew how to play this opening. I feel let's just take this guy. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. Uh, and I'm supposed to play quickly. Okay, let's just trade it down to a draw and flag him. Change of strategies. Exchange it down to a draw and flag him. That's the new plan. Okay, I'm going to have to learn that opening for the next time I end up in that kind of thing. Um, and how are we going to play this? If anyone's better, I'm going to say it's him. Okay, let's go here. And then here kind of chicken, but c'est la vie. Okay, I'm protecting everything. That's a good start. Now next up, getting a rook on the C file. Ooh, he's a very cheeky guy. He's trying to get rook h6. Ah, but now he actually has a problem how to decide what to do. He gave me the bishop pair for nothing. He gave me the bishop pair for pretty much nothing. Um, let's go here. That was not well executed by him pretty sure. Uh, but I need to play faster. He's just giving me a pawn. Oh, because he wants to go g5. Mm. Let's um let's take this guy. Ah, uh, that was maybe not great. Um 
and then go here. Ooh, I almost trapped my own rook, actually. F5? Is he gonna play F5? It's a pretty risky move. Ooh, he has knight takes F2. That's what he's calculating. Um, I'm confused. Let's take it. Let's take this one. And then go A4. B4. Ooh, he blundered. Yeah, he didn't see this. Um, yeah. Okay, let's make a draw. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try this. I was low on time, so I thought it's best just to get the draw rather than uh, gambling. Assuming that I do get the draw, of course. but I don't see why I wouldn't. Okay, the guy is playing with fire. And he's gonna get burned. Seven in a row. That was surprisingly uh, generous uh, from Raja. But it's seven in a row. And I think for once, Mayer is not going to win this. It's a bit early to say that, but it's been a good, good start to the tournament. Okay. Um, this guy is playing... The London system with c4. I have never seen anyone play the London system with c4 previously. Uh, but here this guy is rocking it. So I guess we're gonna treat it with some respect. Is Mayer playing? Isn't he in Dortmund? asks Riataman. Yes, he is in Dortmund. And yes, yet he is still playing. Uh, it astounds me as well, but here he he apparently has his uh, priorities massively messed up. And he's uh, playing to win the Arena King. And for once, I might be able to have a say in uh, his ambitions. Okay, I kind of trapped my own queen on the side of the board. That's not great. I could have taken back with the queen, but then I was concerned about maybe this pawn pawn not being great. Um, and now instead, my queen is not great. So you could argue that I should care more about my queen than my pawns. Uh, and that would be entirely legitimate. But now I'm going to um, get my queen back into play towards the center. Uh, we're going to get some rooks into play as well. And
and right now I'm really liking my position and I also have an advantage on time. Uh, but what to do about this guy? We're gonna try to maneuver him back. Uh, I missed bishop h4. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of trouble. Oh yeah, I'm getting checkmated. I'm very scared right now. Knight coming to h5. Oof, I'm terrified. Okay, time out. I'm gonna have to think. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm gonna give away a lot of pawns in the process, but I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start running and uh, hope for the best. Okay. Queen trade, come on. Queen trade. How do you feel about a queen trade? Okay, this is interesting. No! Checkmate in one move! No! No! And Samurai is on an eight game streak. I blunder checkmate in one move and Samurai is on an eight game streak. Never mind, I'm not the one who's gonna mess, uh, fix this with Mayer. Okay, that was, but yeah, I was under heavy attack there. I really should not have allowed him to get that attack. That was entirely on me. Entirely my own fault. Uh, and congratulations to, uh, what's his face? Daniel. For winning, that was that was a pretty big win. I should have just kept on running. I shouldn't have stopped. I should have just kept on running. Oh man. Yeah, that really hurts. Eighteen hundred player takes me down while on a big streak. No. Mmm, that hurts. That really hurt. Okay, but I'm doing pretty well in this game. Pretty well in this game. Let's play this move. I think my opponent is pretty much dead. Look at these pieces around the Black King. He's, uh, yeah, I think he's dead. No chance against these pieces. And the guy's thinking, he's dead and lost, and he just realized that this is uh, a big problem for him. Um, I'm still in second place, but Samurai has eight wins in a row. Actually, I just dropped down to third place. Uh, oh, you're, you're not seeing what's happening on the board, but I'm winning. That's what's happening on the board. If he moves his queen, then I have checkmate on f1. 
Um, so he needs to move his knight instead. And now I'm just, uh, you know, uh, actually queen, queen here is going to be pretty good. And my guy resigns. So I'm uh, back trying to work up a um, a new uh, streak. And Eric is next up. Eric is next up. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. So he gave me a pawn. And I took it. Because that's what I do, I grab pawns. And then what's next? He's letting me play e4, that's fine. Actually, maybe that was a mistake. Because now he has bishop d7. Yeah, he's getting at this pawn. Let's go here. I can attack pawns as well. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. Man, I'm thinking. I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, I'm thinking. Yeah. Still thinking. Okay, let's just protect this guy. Oh, this is so depressing. Going into defense with one minute less on the clock. That is pretty depressing. Okay, let's protect this guy. Ah, oh, but I just blundered e4. Oh, yeah. What to do?
Yeah, what to do. Yeah, that was that was just poor in so many different ways. Okay, I guess I'm getting caught by Mayor pretty soon. Okay, turn it around, turn it around. You missed maid, says Sentinel returns. I'm pretty sure my uh, bishop was pinned. Uh, and if even if it was true what you said, then do not piss off the streamer. <laughs> Honestly, if I had mate there, I would be so upset. So I, I think it's best just leave me uninformed of stuff like that. Rally hammer, says Chespe. Yeah, I'm going to speed up. This is my mistake. I, I started questioning my abilities. I started questioning stuff. And now I'm going to stop, stop that. Just start speeding. Yeah, past pawn couldn't see any mate. I don't think there was one. The bishop was penned, so I think that may have fooled you. Uh, Chess Bay gifting, gifting a sub to Hydro. Thank you. Let's take with the knight, actually. Okay, let's take this guy. What's next? I'm going to take this guy and go f5. Uh, but he can take back with the queen. I should have gone f5 first. f5 first was a good move. Okay, I'm going to have to take this with the rook. But it's okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. The tactics are working out in my favor. Uh, queen f5. I did not consider that. That's actually very good. It's a very good move. Okay, I'm going to go king g2, basically whatever he plays, I'm going to go king g2. He's playing really good chess, Maven. I think he's playing very well. Okay, I'm going to have to play b3. He should go definitely go rook b8. Yeah, or b5, same idea. Yeah, no, he's just playing very good chess, Maven. Very good chess. And he's playing so quickly.
you know what, I think this could work. Yeah, he had bishop b2 there, but I was just planning to sacrifice. Ah, oh, I thought I could... I thought I could sacrifice, but... Okay, this should be okay as well. Um, that's a passed pawn. Supported by the king. Oh, I just assumed that he would. Okay, that was that was a good win, I think. Maven played really well. Uh, let's not stalemate the guy. Um. Wow, samurai with twelve in a row. He's running away with it. What a streak for Samurai. I have no chance to keep up with that. 12 games in a row. Unbelievable. Ooh, and Coach Mike running into the fork on D5. That's some trouble right there. Don't do this at home, kids. Who is Samurai? It's uh, some Turkish kid. Uh, Ali Jahani uh, something. He's uh, living in St. Louis, as far as I know. Uh, attending college. I might actually end up in St. Louis later this fall. I might end up playing a, uh, a tournament there. So that's pretty good. Honestly, I was expecting more than this from my position. I thought my position was so good, I should get more than this. So I have two pieces for a rook. Should be enough to win, but it's not going to be as quick a win as I was hoping. Uh, which particular trait has made you a super grandmaster? Asks Ursula. Um, I don't really know. If I knew, then I would be, you know, selling my secrets to the highest bidder, making all people super grandmasters. Well, I guess you're asking about traits, yeah. Um, I don't know. I can be dedicated at times if I'm interested in something. Yeah, now this became much more difficult than it should have been. Um, pro possibly I shouldn't have given away my uh, bishop that easily. That horrible move. Horrible move. That was such a terrible move. Yeah, this is actually going to be a little bit of a challenge, winning this one. Because I let him exchange way too many pawns. Okay, that's a good move.
I'm making such a mess of this. I should have won this many, many, many minutes ago. Okay, we're getting there. Bishop g2 would have won the rook. No, seriously, I'm playing this horrendously. I should have won this this game three minutes ago. Three minutes ago, this should have been in the box. On the scoreboard. What is going on here? No! I let him take that one as well? Oh. Wow. Okay, now we're going to see some technique in how to win the uh, bishop and knight. I guess that's something. But yeah, that game should have, yeah, yeah. Fogner up next. Fogner was uh, the right back for the Brazilian team in the World Cup. So maybe this is a namesake or it's just a big fan of his. Let's just push them, push those central pawns. And that's pretty good for me, presumably. You know what, I'm just going to take this guy. Take that guy. And we're just going to, ooh, we're going to go forward with our pawns. And see what happens. Or it might actually be Fogner himself, suggests Kafka Tamuri boy. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. The thing about the chess community is that we're completely crazy about people who also play chess. So whenever some kind of famous person plays chess, we just, we go berserk. Uh, so, um, if Fogner, the Brazilian right back, was a very decent chess player, then uh, I think someone would have said something by now. Actually, uh, chess has become really popular among Norwegian athletes. Uh, for instance, John Karev, or Karu, as he's known. He, I know that he plays on chess.com and has a rating of 1,200 or something. So the, the chess broadcasts on Norwegian television really popularized um, or reached a new audience, I guess is the, the best way of saying it.
Okay, I'm not playing very quickly, I think, but I'm uh, winning the game, which, after all, is the important part. I did play and lose against an 1800, uh, so winning is also good. Not just playing quickly, I do need to win. Uh, Calculated Potato asks, do you know if TV2 will cover another chess tournament this year? No, I do not know that. I don't really have that much influence on the uh, scheduling. Uh, that is so true, says Segiman. Chess on TV has really helped uh, the interest, and actually it got me interested as well. And you have a big part of making chess popular in Norway as well. Thank you, Segiman. For such kind words. You know what? I'm just going to hide my king. Just going to go hide that king. Just in case. Just in case something bad happens. Yeah, NRK is definitely covering the uh, the World Championship. Okay, 14 in a row. Samurai has 14 games in a row. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? Samurai with 14 games in a row. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. And I thought I was on fire. I'm a bit concerned about my position. It's not great. Okay. Now I'm not sure. But really feels like a free pawn to me. I th yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he blundered that guy. Is uh, VG also going to cover the World Championship? Yeah, I would think so. They have had a deal sharing the rights with NRK the last couple of championships. And uh, I think it's been working out well for them. So I don't see why they would uh, change their strategy. Let's put a rook in the middle. Let's go with this knight into the middle. Actually, maybe I should have gone bishop f5. Anyhow,
This should be fine as well. I have a lot of threats. A lot of threats in this position. And two pawns up. I think that should be sufficient. I think I'm going to be able to win with two pawns up. Actually, he protected stuff. Yeah, I misplayed that a little bit. Uh, and then he just blundered. Okay, four games in a row. I'm still doing pretty well. Uh, never mind. I'm still doing pretty well. This Volk guy, I thought he always plays the Grub. And now he's playing the London system. That's a bit of a surprise. Knight e5, interesting. I would think maybe it's a bit too early, but at the same time, it's very aggressive. Okay, that was not very aggressive. Let's take with the queen. Ah, okay. Let's do the trades. Let's do the trades, see what happens. Okay, so I'm playing kind of kind of like a chicken. And when I say kind of, I'm playing like a massive chicken. But now he he altered the pawn structure. So now it's more interesting. Yeah, I saw he could do that, but I didn't really take it very seriously. Maybe I should have. Ah, uh, that was a good move. And I'm down on time. Wow. Yeah, let's go here. I found a good move as well. Getting my knight into play. King c2. Yeah, king c2, then I'm actually just losing a pawn, probably. Uh, yeah, this is a bit tricky. Oh. I need to play faster. Where is my strategy going? I My strategy was to play quickly, and that strategy has kind of been non-existent this game. Ah, oh, that was a good move.
Why is it so warm? Asks Arsenal. I don't know, but I'm I'm sweaty. I mean, I, I every other second I can just I can feel the sweat on my skin. You know what? I'm gonna go here. That move felt wrong to me. Felt like a bit of a mistake. Okay, let's run with the pawn and see if it it's it's helps me somehow. Let's run pawns. Run like the wind. Okay, that was a terrible move. King C4. He didn't understand my plan whatsoever. Because now I just win a piece. Okay, we get the win. Five wins in a row. And still third place. But was that? Samurai is still on a streak. Oh my god. 16 wins in a row. He's still on a streak. That is unbelievable. I have no words. I have no idea what my opponent is doing, but he just gave me a bishop for nothing. So I'm, whatever he's doing, I'm pretty happy about it. I have a strategically winning position, and I didn't really do anything special to get it. Let's go here. Let's, uh, what are we going to do? Let's go here. My idea was to go here, but maybe it's not great. We'll find out. Ah, uh, yes, G5. Yeah, I made this a bit more interesting than it needed to be. Okay, now he doesn't have g5. That really felt like a mistake from him. Uh, are you okay? You do realize I can give a check here, right? Looks pretty scary. But you don't care, do you? That looks pretty scary, but you don't care. Hmm. That's, uh, wow, that's pretty brave. Okay, let's take this guy. Wow, he just takes back. That, I, 
Wow. What is going on here? I have not been able to guess a single one of his moves. Wow. Okay. I'm feeling optimistic still, but I feel from the position we had in the opening, I made a mess of it. Because I really feel like it was strategically winning. And uh, yeah, then stuff happened. Okay, I can win the queen by going rook g8. Yeah, I'm going to do that. He's going to try to convince me that he has enough material for the queen. And to be honest with you, he's just playing wrong. Knights cannot move. Oh, I'm low on time actually. Yeah, I really feel like I've made a bit of a mess of this, but we're good. Should be good pretty soon. Okay, eight, six in a row. I, honestly, it's still going pretty well for me. Uh, I'm in fourth place. Daniel, wow, Daniel has... 13 in a row. The, the 1800 player who beat me has 13 in a row. Wow. Some massive streaks going on. Samurai has lost his streak, says Cernix. Good information. Useful information. But he's just so far ahead, I'm not sure. He's just so far ahead. You know what? I'm considering just taking this guy. Um, yeah, Daniel. I don't think Daniel was cheating. I mean, he played a decent game, but he, he didn't play good enough to cheat, I think. 
he made some very big positional errors in the opening. So I don't think he's cheating. Okay, what to do next? My knights are decent, but my opponent has the bishop pair. And yeah, I need a plan. I need something to do. The knights are just going to be crushed by the bishops as the position opens up. Um, so I'm not actually feeling that optimistic about this this thing. Uh, I'm feeling optimistic because I think I'm a stronger chess player, but just from a position position point of view, um, this is a bit shaky. Okay, take back. I'm gonna have to go here because I miscalculated something. I need to get this knight back into play. And I really don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, let's take this one. If I can exchange one knight for one bishop, I'm pretty happy. So this trade, I think, is, is going to favor me. Okay, he decides not to give away his bishop pair. But now my knights are more centralized, and also I won a pawn. He does have a lot of counterplay. Okay, I'm going to take this one because I'm kind of scared. I'm a bit of a chicken. My knight is slightly superior to the black bishop, but the black bishop is no slouch. It's, uh, it's a pretty good piece. So winning this game is going to be very, very tricky. Okay, getting my knight to uh, e5 is a good start. Okay, let's try to grab this pawn. Oh, that was bad checking. Really allowed my king to get a more active position. And there comes the blunder. Knox goes down. An imp Imperactive is up next from Australia. And I'm, I need to play faster. I, I haven't been following my own advice to go faster. Okay, c6 is not very ambitious, not fighting for any central control. Uh, and bishop d2 is also extremely unambitious. I mean, he just decided to sit with his pieces way down in defense. 
and essentially just hope for the best. You know what? I'm even gonna play a4. I saw his plan and I just thought, let's stop stop him from going a4 himself. Actually, maybe he's getting ready to play c5. Wow, I should have paid more attention to that. Yeah, that was not great by me. I allowed some things there I should not have. But him trading the bishop for the for the knight was not great because my queen gets such a powerful position and also the knight doesn't really have any good squares to go to. Yeah, let's go here. If knight c8, then I can just take it. And if he takes, I'm planning bishop h3. I really like this idea. Very nice bishops working together. And now, keep it simple. Rook takes d5. No way to defend the knight. And it's another win! Um... Maybe celebrating a tad early, but I thought it was okay. Why not celebrate? Let's go here. And then here. This is pretty nasty. Then here. Threatening queen f7 check, threatening queen e6. Checkmate. What? That's a good... Just knocking through his defenses. It's eight wins in a row. And Samurai lost his streak. So I'm just behind Samurai. And Face Chest with the 500 bits. Thank you. And what is up with everyone starting to play this? Incredibly boring queen e2 thing. Pins, forks, x-rays, discoveries, and more, says Vertvich. Yeah, that game had, had it all. That was... he got smoked at the end there. Remember the trophy hammers, his face chess. Okay, I'm just going to develop my pieces. No funky business, just good simple chess. Okay, now a bit of funky business. Uh bit more funky business. And he fell for it! I really did not expect that one to go through, but... Wow! I, I Now I understand how everyone else does better than me at the Arena Kings. They just make these silly, silly traps, and they get quick wins for it. Wow! That was that was surprisingly easy, I would say. Uh, let's go here.
Maybe you should have a Superman-like outfit with a big Norwegian flag, suggests Oslo. I don't know. I know I look good in basically anything, but I'm not sure I could pull that off. Uh, let's grab the bishop. Why not? Let's take this one. Yeah, okay. I may have misplayed that a little bit. Yeah, okay, that was not great. I'm still better-ish. Let's uh, go back with this bishop before anything bad happens. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I massively misplayed this. Yeah, that was not good. Yeah, also this move is horrible. It's so easy to make bad moves after having made one bad move. You make one bad move, then you make another bad move, and then, then you're in trouble. Okay, back to the original strategy, playing quickly. So knight f2 now, followed by knight takes f2, would have been a bit of a problem. This is also a bit of a problem. And when I say a bit of a problem, I mean pretty t terrifying. Okay, uh, it's going to be at the minimum a draw for black. Um, okay, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. That was not clever of him. That was really not clever of him. And that was not clever of him. Big mistake. He should have taken with the bishop. He got really stressed trying to exchange into a uh, a draw, and now he's gonna um, he's gonna wish that he had just continued his attack because his attack was pretty terrifying. Whereas this stuff he's got going on now is not very terrifying. Calculate. Okay, this is not winning, but it's going to be enough to win on time. This, however, is winning. This is one of the lines I calculated and actually got right. Okay, 10 games in a row. Good job, me. 
Uh, a tough game now against Krikor. But Krikor is the one I beat very easily earlier. Maybe we can see a repeat performance. Let's take this one. See what happens. Play faster, says Zen Mode. Yeah, I know. I'm not playing very quickly. I don't think that was the best move. Oof, if I had just played b4 first, I would have had a great position. But even b4 here is pretty good. Even this is pretty unpleasant for black. And he just blundered a pawn. Two pawns. This isn't looking pretty good. Anna is telling everyone that you're the best San Francisco tour guide ever. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. We had a little trip very quickly around in San, Fran in San Francisco after the Pro Chess League final. And I had the recommendation to go to the Yermo Bueno Gardens, and that was a big hit at the Martin Luther King Memorial. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was a fun day. I had a good time. Age three! You're really not supposed to play age three in this London system. That, I mean, it goes against everything because one of the main points is trying to get the improved central structure with h takes g3 and you just remove that possibility from the board with your h3 move as well as it not being the most yeah it doesn't really achieve much I'm going to try H3 against you next time we play, says Andy. Andy has played a lot of a London system against me. Wow, Queen F3, that F5 is actually pretty annoying. That's actually pretty annoying. And now Knight E5. It's a terrible opening, but suddenly things are making sense for white. How did that happen? 
actually this guy, I'm just going to push back. And then I'm going to push this guy back. And then we're going to exchange the queens so that I don't get checkmated. And then we're going to see what happens. Um, I guess a5, trying to expand on the queen side. This one I'm going to take. Now I'm going to double things in the e file. Hmm. But what's next? I guess I'm going to try this plan. Yeah, but he can play a3 and then put his knight on a2. That would have been uh, interesting. Now I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna achieve my plan of playing b5, b4, and then do I care about what he's doing over here? I kind of care, but at the same time I don't want to care. Um. Take this one. Give a check. Take this one. Now to decide if I should play f5 or take it. I guess I'm going to go f5 because then it's going to be easier for me to grab the, uh, the b file. And also he's going to spend more time trying to get an attack on my pawn here. Honestly, I don't really know what's going on. But I feel like if I just push my pawn, how bad could it be? Actually, pretty bad. Could be pretty, but pretty bad. Okay, one more. Uh, yeah, after e4, he's actually threatening. He's now he's threatening knight e7. Knight e7 is actually checkmate. So I'm going to have to take this one and go here. Yeah, this is just a rook ending where I'm probably worse. But really, I have no idea what's going on. Actually, now I'm winning because I'm threatening a2. Yeah, I'm threatening a2. And he... 12 in a row! But still, Samurai... Samurai is still ahead with 75 points to my 72. Uh, but the rest of the field, the rest of the players have just completely disappeared. And I should play more quickly. I have nothing to lose right now. I think my spot among the top uh, top 10, top 5 is pretty safe. Uh, and so I should just play quickly. I haven't played this opening in a very long time. Is it queen d2? Is that what you do? No, you take this one. No, you don't take that. I couldn't remember what you were supposed to do. There. Okay, castles. It's always pretty good. Um, 
let's just go here. Very simple plan with the minority attack. And I'm comfortable playing b4. Oftentimes he wants to take take and play b5. But this time his knights are so far away from the c4 square that uh, this kind of structure is not going to be a problem for me. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have taken this pawn, because now he actually maybe gets, I mean, he gets a good bishop and he gets a good knight. Maybe I was a bit greedy to take that pawn. But, yeah, I don't like that move. Yeah, the bishops are, are it's nice to have the bishop pair, but at the same time, he just lost the bishop pair. So now he's just a pawn down for no good reason. Let's go here. That was a terrible move. Just inviting bishop d5. That was genuinely a horrible move. And I'm not playing quickly. That was terrible. Let's go here. Oh no, queen g5. Yeah. My queen is pretty good here. I guess that's something. Oh no, actually he has rook a2 and then rook takes d2. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm playing more quickly right now, but um, I gave away my advantage. Um, so, um, probably there's nothing much going on. Rook c8 should be a draw. Um, this, I'm not so sure is a draw. Uh, what's he doing? Why aren't you going into the rook end game? Now you want to get the rook end game? That makes no sense. I'm confused. Okay. Fine. 13 in a row. 2724 rating, says Ghetto Porridge. Wow. Maybe I'm playing well today. My score certainly is pretty good. Does that count as a Lefong? No. That was Rook B1 was a brilliant move. Because if he takes it, I force a uh, pawn endgame. No, that was just brilliant by me. 
No only funging. Yeah, I completely misplayed this. I got crushed once by Ivanchuk in this pawn structure. Um, so I'm a bit nervous about what's going to happen in this game. Uh, but so far, so good ish. I think my plan of h3 and g4 is interesting. And at least it got my opponent to think. Next move, I castle. No, e5, that's a strange move. Okay, maybe not so strange. Knight f4, is knight f4 good? Yeah, I think so. I could have played knight f4, but didn't. I think he should have. Now he's a move too late, because now I don't have to take the knight. Um, what's going on here? Okay, we got ourselves a very interesting position. I think I'm strategically winning-ish. If I go here, maybe unnecessary. No, let me try this move. So I'm just going to make sure that I have a piece standing on e4 for the rest of the game. And as so long as I make that happen, I think it's going well. Okay, that was a clear mistake by him. This is not going to help him. This is only going to help me get my pieces into play more quickly. And everything is pointing towards his king side. Just my rooks are perfectly placed. All his pieces are bad. And now for the finishing touches. Well, I don't really need any finishing touches. It's just my position plays itself. He has to play g4, and then I take it. Yeah, he just resigned. He realized that he got completely outplayed in that game. You know what? I'm gonna play knight e4. I don't think it's a good move, but I think it's a move that's gonna get him a bit out of his style, out of his comfort zone, and therefore it's a good move. Not sure it's objectively good, but for this opponent in under these circumstances, I think he will find it annoying. OK, 
Okay, is that not a free pawn? What are you doing, my friend? Are you handing me free pawns? You really shouldn't be doing that. So if he takes, then bishop h2 check. Uh, Flintard with the six, uh, six month resub. Thank you. Congratulations on your golden hammer. And thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, what is the black thing next to his head? It's just stuff. Books, chess boards, stuff like that. Okay, I'm two pawns up. So far, so good. Uh, I see what he's planning, but I'm not entirely sure how to stop it. Let's just go here. Um, playing like a child, also with the six month resub. Thank you. Uh, and then finally, we have Bukowski giving me his Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, why is this guy still playing? I'm confused. Am I not two pawns up? Three pawns up. He's still playing. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, he resigned. I'm two points behind Samurai, it's getting very, very close. Two points behind Samurai. Oh, there's only four minutes remaining. Wow, there's only four minutes remaining. This suddenly became a race against the clock. I have had a fantastic tournament, but Samurai has been even better. I have had the most spectacular tournament ever, and still I cannot win this thing. Let's take this one and go here. Take this one before he runs away. I'm going to need to play very quickly. Okay, I'm completely outplaying the guy this could work I could get a win here okay that was probably not the best move Go, 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 says Hiyata Man. Let's uh, check in on the standings. 
Oh, he lost. He lost. If I win this one, I'm going to win the tournament. There's 1 minute 50 left. 1 minute 50 left on the on the tournament clock. And my opponent has 1 minute 10. Uh, play quickly. Why did you do that? Okay, this is tense. Come on. Why am I thinking? That was a huge mistake. I, 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 why was I thinking there? I, I spent all my time and now I'm not going to win. I spent all the time I had a leftover and now I'm not going to win. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm not even threatening any checkmates. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah. Oh, had I won this game, I would have uh, won the tournament. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, time ran out. That was very close. 12 seconds away from uh, from winning. I, I, I choked there at some point, point. Started thinking for my moves. And had I just kept on going, I think maybe I would have had a chance. I, I did a good job of outplaying the guy, but yeah, very, very, very close, very close. Awesome performance, says Nathan. Thank you. It was very close. So close, says Turshvik. Yeah, no, that was, I had a spectacular tournament. I played so, so well. I had some really, really great games. The only reason I didn't win today was that Samurai just had the most amazing day. He won like 18 in a row at the beginning of the tournament. So who got the podium? Yeah, I got the podium. I'm third place. Uh, and I'm not sure Light Kira is streaming. So among the streamers, I have second place. Had I won this game, 12 seconds away from winning this game, had I won it, then I would have won the tournament. So that's going to be a bit annoying, but overall it was just a really good performance, and I'm, uh, I'm happy, happy with that part. Really impressive, says Chespay, 500 bits, thank you. So unfortunate, but you played amazingly, says Geezy. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I played so much better than some of the uh, other Blitz tournaments I've had. Some of the, the other Blitz tournaments, I've been so, so shaky. But, but this time, I think overall, it was a really nice performance. Uh, good games and entertaining commentary, says Pretzel. Thank you. I'm so sad for you. Good game on second place, says Stavegu. Thank you. That was tense, says Hosku. Yeah, no, it was very tense. And the thing is, I choked in the middle of that. And you know what I choked on? It was... Uh, it was here, about here. Yeah, I spent 10 seconds on this move, rook c1. And I, because honestly, when he played rook d6, I thought in my head, I thought that I was winning.
by playing rook f2 and then knight e3 checkmate. But it's not checkmate, you can just go king f3. Um, so yeah, I, I should have played something like rook f1, threatening knight e3 check, just trying to go for the cheapos. But if he just takes this and takes this, then um, I don't have cheapos enough to decide the game in time. Oh well. Should have offered a draw, says you die. Well, a draw only gives me one point, and I would have lost rating, and I would have been, you know, I deserve to win this game. So I'm not going to offer a draw for one point in the tournament standings. It's not going to help me. Um. This is more exciting than the World Cup Finals, says Riyata Man. Well, in, in the World Cup Finals, well, in my defense, I guess, uh, the World Cup Final was not that interesting after France getting all of those referee decisions in their favor. Uh, really fun to watch your streams, Hammer. Good luck and congratulations on a great tournament, says Shell. Thank you. Good luck with the heat, says also. Yeah, I'm actually I'm flying out of the city. I'm traveling to Denmark on um, on Friday, which is just two days um, in two days. Uh, but it's equally warm in Denmark. I I just checked the weather report and it was like sun, 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 sun for all eternity. Ulan solo feed. With the 111 bits, thank you. Uh, do you analyze your blitz games after the arena? Asks Navid. Um, no, I do not. Absolutely no. That would be, I, I, I genuinely think that would be crazy. But on the other hand, if there was an opening that I found interesting, then probably I would, I would try to spend some time on that. Um, so that I had it fresh in my mind. There's usually more wind in Denmark, though, says Chivas. Yes, and also this place I'm going, they have uh, bike rentals. Uh, so I can have the breeze just, you know, calmly... I don't, I, I don't want to use the word riding, but... I, something more elegant than riding along the uh, the Danish bicycle roads. I'm looking forward to seeing you on a bike, says Magic Andy. I bet you are. Okay, I'm gonna check who's still streaming to get a little hosty hosty host. Um, you know what? We're gonna do uh, Fortnite. There's still the season 5 craze going on being released <laughs> uh, being released this week. So we're gonna do a raid. We're gonna do a raid to Mr. Alec TV. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'm traveling next week, so there's going to be quite a bit of time until my next stream. Uh, but keep posted on my uh, Twitter uh, about all upcoming events. So uh, schedule, here you can see the schedule, and also follow me on Twitter. Uh, so that you can stay up to date on whatever I'm doing. Where are you traveling to? Asks not R2D2. I'm traveling to Helsinge, Helsingør in Norwegian uh, for the biggest Danish tournament of the year, the ExtraCon Cup. And with that, I bid you farewell, and I hope to see you in Alex's stream very, very soon.